Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky, which I haven't played in a very long time. There have been many updates since last time I played, and I just wanted to see how things look and what has changed. First of all, we do have this screen where we can join other explorers, join a session with friends or random explorers. These are small sessions with relatively few people, like four or something like that, uh, or other explorers may join your session. Um, which implies that there isn't technically a private session, but I'm just gonna start a new one. I've, I've tried playing. I tried survival mode. I lasted all of one minute there. Um, this save uh, is one that lasted a little bit longer than normal. I will start a new one. I need to... Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can delete save data. I'm not running any mods, and I'm gonna start just with normal because survival is tough. Heck, normal is tough. It depends on what kind of planet you get, to be honest, though. So far, both the survival one and the normal one have turned out to be radiation-filled, so that's not been very helpful. Uh, before that, uh, you saw my other save there is from 2016, December 2016, so it's been more than a year. It looks very different, to be honest, so... Uh, and it feels somewhat harder to get off the initial planet. Somewhat more challenging. And I haven't gotten off my initial planet yet, so I don't know what kind of uh, variety there is on other planets. Blue skies? Very blue skies. Hopefully this one won't be as toxic. Ueta Major. Very temperate. As usual, we have to repair a bunch of stuff. Okay, mining tool. And this is new. We have a third person mode. You might not know how to activate it. Uh, you have to... Let's get... Uh, well, let's just wait for it. Okay, uh, you press X. And then you use Q and E to navigate. You navigate to utilities, press F, and go E to camera view. And then you can switch between first person and or... This menu is really annoying though. Third person. Okay, but first we need to replenish our hazard protection. So we need sodium. And what the heck can get me that? I need that immediately. Ferrite dust. We can't use our scanner right now, that's broken. Uh, but, you know, uh, we could probably replenish it with ferrite dust, so let's see. That's what I had to use for, for it in the other save. So I assume it's consistent. Carbon, not yet. Um, you have ferrite dust. So my main way of playing this has tended to be as a naturalist. Of course, right now I'm zapping things, which isn't very David Attenborough of me. But eventually, I want to take as holistic approach as possible while still surviving, of course. Oh, toxic damage. Yeah. Ferrite dust, good. That's what we need. Dihydrogen we need for... Oh, th that thing's gonna zap me. That thing's gonna zap me. Uh, run, 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 run. Jump. Fly, fly away. Do we have enough ferrite dust? Oh, they're animals. They're animals, we can't scan them yet, though. Okay, uh, nope. Okay, so mining beam, no. Exosuit. Uh, hazard protection. No, uh, we actually need to fix. No, no, it's zapping us. Dang it. Critical 
Oh, running, running. They try and ditch the bad guys first. Deuterium rich plant. I'll stick around here for a sec. Oh no, I found it. Ah, oh, shoot. Man. Seems like boosting myself does not work. Oh yeah, I have unredeemed items. We should fix that. Dang it. Fought. No, stop it. Stop it! Stop trying to kill me. This is normal. Imagine how survival is. Come on, I wish I had more stamina. Ah, uh, but I had health. Oh, jeez. And so it goes. Death by toxic inhalation. Well, at least it restored my my stuff. And I, I want. Uh, so I don't have any ferrite dust. Let me just try and gather ferrite dust. Maybe my corpse will have some left over. Pure ferrite. But we can't mine that without an advanced laser, which is tough. What is this stuff? Oxygen rich plant. We know we're gonna need that. So let's just grab as much oxygen as we can. We don't have to blast them. That saves on the carbon we need for the laser. Okay, so how do I access my probe? Uh, my grave? Ferrite dust. Okay, we have enough ferrite dust to repair the scanner. Yeah. Okay, and now we can scan for stuff to replenish our radiation protection. And you see NA there. That's what we need. Uh, first of all, that's that uh, redeem bonus content thing. Redeem that ship. It's a little bit better than the default ship, and I sort of like the look of it. I don't know why I need to negotiate price, but um, just trade in. It's fine. What's this crystal? Condensed carbon is good for replenishing the mining laser. Analysis visor is something we need. Okay, we got a little bit of sodium. There's some more sodium over there. Okay, let's see what I can... Whether I can make an analysis visor, because there's some animals that I want to analyze. Carbon nanotubes, so we need more carbon. Uh, wait. Exosuit? craft. Carbon nanotubes, we need 50 carbon. Okay, that's way more than 50. So, first of all, craft. Carbon nanotubes. Multi-tool. Install technology. Analysis visor. Now we can analyze things as a naturalist would. So scanning flora. Cobalt deposit. I don't know what cobalt is good for right now. Things have clearly changed. Uh, for instance, I, uh, my starships used to run on plutonium. Now they run on dihydrogen, which seems a little bit better. Makes a lot more sense to me. So I don't know whether the resources all do what they used to do. I doubt it. Ferrite dust and ammonia. Well, that's interesting. I don't know how else I'm gonna get ammonia, and I don't know what ammonia is for, so that's a separate issue. Wait, is that a... No, that's just a generic plant. Okay. Okay, on our way to the ship. It said to undo the purchase, interact with your old ship before... But I, I don't really understand that. 
Am I heading to my new ship or my old ship? Oh, oh, do not piss off the local bots. When you scan them, they show uh, secondary elements, so... Well, sometimes. So it can be useful. Okay, now we find out what we can do with our starship. No Jose's, no Jose's, maybe? Uh, Crystal Folly, okay. Well, I don't want to get inside, I want to access the information. We need pure ferrite and dye hydrogen jelly, and then metal plating. Well, we can make some of that. Uh, well, actually, we can make it even here. Craft product. Dye hydrogen jelly. And metal plating, ferrite dust. Okay, I guess we have to actually say repair that bit and launch thruster repair that one but okay what else projectile ammunition is probably not the most helpful thing right now the thing is and this is where I get into trouble it says that it wants pure ferrite but I need an advanced mining laser to get that and then a hermetic seal which I have no idea how to make this is damaged machinery and if you want to open this we need pure ferrite but I um, don't know where to get pure ferrite distress beacon okay no connection oh, wait, uh, I don't know what this means so I'll just broadcast Anomaly is compliant. Well, that's good. Oh, I need more hazard protection. Starship signal. Well, I guess I need to go inside this, actually. Okay, yes. Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. Yeah. Controls react to your touch. Only assume it belongs to you. Well, it belongs to me now. Well, I discovered that. That is just cobalt. Well, actually, it is not so toxic. That's good. For a start. Oh. But there are things that can attack me. Oh, and it's really... Okay. Wait, no, it said stabilizing. Okay. This is a complicated cave. Sometimes it's gonna make me lose toxic protection. Sometimes it's gonna be okay. That, that, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Ah. Falling. It's stabilizing now. Nothing new in the cave, though. Hazardous stuff is toxic. Hazardous. Or I've seen it before. There's a buried technology module, it says there. But I don't know how to unbury a bury technology module is part of the problem. But hey, uh, let's, let's go E to tag that. There seems to be another one there. Sure. What's that? Copper deposit. But I don't know what I need co copper for right now. Yeah, the thing about the game as I remember it, there was a lot of weird stuff just lying around. I mean, the place was full of crates and buildings and stuff like that. This does not seem to be currently the case. Oh, there's a alien artifact there. Well, that might be worthwhile. That is not what I was expecting. Wisdom of Corvax. Yun Yun. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. 
robotic life form turns towards me. Light street uh, steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. Well, I'll accept knowledge. Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Learn the Corvax word for rare. Yeah, rare, as in the stuff I need to survive. Rare. Uh, trying to scan. Alright. And sodium. Oh, there's a bunch of monoliths. Yeah, there's a whole string. Oh, this is one of the serious ones. I see a whole string of monoliths here. Well, it's uh, it's these guys. They're all appearing separately. But, yeah, I don't know what good it's gonna do me. Wisdom of the Corvax. Word for warning. Word for Corvax. Well, okay. Oh, is that a different animal or one that I've already seen? That ah, one I've already seen. Convergence. Very important word in all of this for some reason. Um, I think there's another one up top. Okay, well, we have our first experience like this. Feel faint as if my mind is being invaded. Pustules on my, oh, on my skin grow, bubble, and pop. Uh, and I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks grabbling from each gaping hole. Suddenly metal spiders, perhaps tiny sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. Um, wait it out. I, I don't have a weapon. Should I wait it out? I don't know. Locate a portal would be nice. Hallucination fades, the pain does not. I take damage. Um, can we try again? No? Bugger. Well, I learned a few words, I guess. I think it auto saves when I'm in my starship, so that's one reason why I'm going back to it. Also, taking a look around to see if I've missed something obvious, like a crate. Pulse uh, engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Hermetic seal near nearby. Salvage navigation data from distress beacon cache. Well, okay. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Restore point saved. Good. Locate hermetic seal. Distress beacon. There. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcasting unit. It contains a navigation data module. Okay, I'll take it. Build a signal booster to use navigation data. Collect ferrite dust. That I can do. Apparently not locally, but... There is plenty of ferrite dust around, I know this. There's some. I should have just listened to the message in the corner. Okay. Build a signal booster. Craft a met uh, metal plating. Okay. Now it's helping me out. Okay, we've got metal plating. Craft carbon nanotubes.
Access the build menu with Z. Okay. Um, signal booster. Oh, and what's the other thing there? Portable refiner. Okay, portable refiner is the other thing. Okay, place object. Cannot build missing components. Well, that's because I've already built one. Input the recovered navigation data. Input data, fine. Navigational task. Scan the stress frequencies. Okay, we have emitted a pulse. There's a thing there. Okay. I guess that's where we get our hermetic seal. Pick up your signal booster. Okay. Toxic rainstorm? Oh, okay. Let me go back to the ship then. Can't really move my head inside of the cockpit right now, apparently. Okay, storm clearing. It says crate. Well, here we go again with the damaged container with the rusted metal that we're gonna... Search that. Advanced ion battery. These are different. That's more useful. Hmm, interesting. A somewhat more useful crate than usual. Oh, that's a whole settlement. Let's hope they're friendly. Yeah, there's probably nobody inside anyway. Okay, thankfully it's not the damaged machinery that we need. But what does it need? It needs pure ferrite, of course. Can't just walk in, apparently. Ah, this is the door. Hollow Archive. Logs corrupted. I don't care about the logs. I just want the stuff I need. Fabricator. Recover supplies. Okay, we've got a hermetic seal. Okay, finally back home and let's get this part done. Repair the pulse engine. Okay, we've gotten that done. Now, tell me how to get the thing that I can't get. I need pure ferrite. Construct a portable refiner. And then gather... Okay, so we need to gather ferrite dust. Okay, then we'd have to craft metal plating. But we're going to have to refine ferrite afterwards anyway. So let me get some more ferrite. Okay, craft. Oh, we don't have too many slots here. Uh, well, let's do it in the starship. Metal plating. Access build menu. Portable refiner. Advanced materials required pure ferrite. Fuel the portable refinery. Okay, input, transfer items. I want to put ferrite dust. Okay, so we can refine the ferrite dust into pure ferrite, but we need 250. Oh, we need a fuel supply, not that. We need carbon. Okay, I guess we can just do that. I want as much ferrite, pure ferrite as I can get. So, yeah, begin. Okay, finally, launch thrusters. 
repaired. And now everything is working. We could gather some more Starship launch fuel. And Starship launch fuel we have to make Coprite, Mordite, these things I don't know what the purpose of is. I can store some stuff in my starship. These rusted metal junk piles. That's 5,000 units it's worth, huh? The Mordite isn't actually worth that much. The rusted junk is actually worth something, which is weird. Well, we can keep one stack of sodium in the starship. But more importantly, we had all those crates around. All systems functional, return to your ship. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. There were those fancy little crates that all required pure ferrite. No, not the buried technology module. Like damaged machinery, like that one. But I don't think this is one that I can access like that. Let me see. Maybe. Okay, it's repaired. Nanite clusters have been credited to my account. Hmm. Well, I don't know what good nanite clusters are. I don't know if that's all they ever give you. Well, let's see how this flies. I suppose. Use W to take off. Okay. Uh, okay, how do I steer? How do I steer? Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. That's the lining sequence. Okay. Okay. Does my joystick work? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Oh, I guess it's just with the mouse. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, okay, it's with the mouse, I see. Seek answers among the stars. Well, I don't mind if I do. So... But, I mean, maybe we should cruise around this place to see what... It, are there any other biomes, you know, but maybe I should answer those questions some other time. Let's jet. I don't know how much fuel we have, if we have enough fuel. But it said seek answers among the stars, so I'm going up. Hold shift to engage boost. I discovered this. I need to name some more stuff. Two planets, one moon. Arrive in 17 hours? No. Two weeks? Not that either. Ah, uh, now we're talking. What was it to engage jump? Didn't quite catch that. Uh, hold space. I sure hope this signal source is an important place. Oh, uh, let's scan that. Oh, come on. I don't know, I, I probably want to go to that other marker to the right there. Oh well. Okay, scanned it. Scorched planet, that doesn't sound good. Is this location on the surface? Seems like it. 
Ooh. Okay, roll me, please. Oh, this is one of those places with floaty rocks. Uh, 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 initiate landing, initiate landing! Too fast, okay, slow down. Ooh, I, I, I should have slowed down in the first place. Ooh, what the heck is that? Nope, nope, down, please. It's hard getting used to these mouse controls. I sure hope there's resources here for me to get back up again. I just saw something really big, though. Yeah, that's pretty darn big, whatever it is. I mean, it's also looking somewhat non functional. Well, we're on our second planet, and it's full of webby things. Bat-like wing formations. Okay, and with this save, and with the scanning of our first creatures... Come on, let me scan them. Scanning of the first creatures on this new world. I think I'll leave it here. We have achieved step one. This is the signal source. Broken technology. Which looks complicated. Sparking wires in the machine generate a signal. Okay, decipher signal. No fuel. Re fail to reach station. Uh-oh. I hope I don't get stuck in the same situation. Contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Well, we know that terrain manipulators are important. I want a terrain manipulator. Download plans, yeah. New technology discovered. There we go, and I think... Well, somewhere along the way we can make those things. Alright, so yes. With this accomplishment and on this new world, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.